Another apparently random mass shooting, this time in Brooklyn, New York. A man gets onto the M train, rides to the 36th Street station, whips out a pistol, and fires 33 shots. When he does that, he puts 29 people in the hospital, 10 with bullet wounds. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is another Declaration of Truth from your host, Terry A. Hurlbut. In this video, we're going to review what we know about the Brooklyn subway shooting and about the man who might or might not have done it, and what makes people still in New York want to do, and why this is a major embarrassment to the mayor, the acting governor, and Democrats everywhere. First, I want to shout out to the sponsor of this channel, which is Conservative News and Views, link in the description, and be sure, be sure to check out the awesome CNAV store, scroll down to the bottom for that link, lots of good merchandise there, and coming soon, a bookshelf, where you can buy books that explore conservative philosophy in depth. With everything that's going on, we'll need that more than ever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time to sort out the truth from the pabulum they're likely to get from the NYPD, and especially the mayor's and acting governor's offices. The New York Post has an update page carrying links to all their stories. I have a link in the description of that page. Those stories include a story about the person of interest and a column asking the mayor and acting governor what they're going to do about this. ABC, CNN, and USA Today have other stories about the Brooklyn subway shooting. The gunman was riding in the second car of the N train. As he was pulling into 36th Street, he set off at least two smoke grenades. He then pulled out a Glock 9mm automatic and started shooting. Police say he had extended magazines, but two officers, speaking on the QT, said his gun jammed. When the train did arrive at 36th Street, everyone got off the train and, we assume, transit police directed them to another train. In the confusion of the moment, the gunman escaped. Police searched the car and found his gun and the extended magazines. ABC says they also find, found, and I quote, a hatchet, detonated and undetonated smoke grenades, a black garbage can, a rolling cart, gasoline, and a key to a U-Haul van, unquote ABC. Police later found that van that matched that key and learned who rented it. This led them to identify their person of interest. Who is this guy? His name is Frank R. James. He's 63 years old, happens to be black, and admits having mental issues. He said so in a YouTube video. Police found his YouTube account, which, to which I have a link in the description. I am not going to quote extensively from it. Now, on that channel, the police say he left several concerning rants. At the time of this writing, his YouTube channel, the name of which reads Prophet Space of Truth 88, is still up. YouTube has flagged many of his videos as inappropriate for some viewers. Nevertheless, while the channel is still up, one can readily see the subjects he treats. They cover everything from the Will Smith slapping incident to the Russia-Ukraine war. He seems to believe that when white people finish making war upon one another, they'll turn around and erase the black man. But more interestingly, he singles out Mayor Eric Adams for criticism. Mr. Mayor, he says, I am a victim of your mental health program. That refers not only to his mental condition, but also to the less than optimal service he says he's gotten. I want to quote just one thing he says, and I have botherized it. What's going on in that place is violence, not physical violence, but the kind of violence a child experiences in grade school that would make him go get a gun and start shooting, unquote Frank James. The police don't want to call that threatening, but they do call it concerning. Whatever that means. Now, did Frank R. James shoot those people in Brooklyn or didn't he? The police don't have him in custody yet. In fact, they don't want to say that he's the one who shot those people. Well, if he isn't, then somebody mugged him somewhere between New York and Philadelphia where he rented that van. He then took the keys, drove the van to a station up the line from 36th Street, got on the end, and, well, we know the rest. Perhaps until the police can track Mr. James down and talk to him, they don't really know he did it. But coincidence like that, uh, like what the police are allowing for, happen only in the movies. And not very good ones either. 
How does this make people feel? Well, how do you expect? This has people in the Sunset Park neighborhood of that station feeling scared. According to at least one longtime worker, nothing like this has happened there before. But residents are more than scared. Those who can are moving out. Moving companies and one-way renters are doing brisk business. One wonders whether U-Haul will run out of moving trucks to rent in New York, as they did in California. Will people start renting trucks from further away just to have trucks? Or rent moving trucks round trip if they just want to move to New Jersey, Connecticut, or someplace nearby? Michael Goodwin, back at the Post, has some harsh words from Mayor Adams and Acting Governor Hochul. He observes that the city has had three years of a crime wave, each year worse than the last. More to the point, he traces the problem to bail reform that lets people out within hours of their arrest for a violent offense, plus other measures that effectively handcuff the police. Furthermore, no one wants to talk about Frank James' YouTube rants. They don't fit the narrative. Blacks don't do things like this according to this narrative. Well, maybe they do if they get terrible service in outpatient mental health clinics. And then their heads are full of radical new ideas that come out of the mouths of some of the same people the city and state expect to keep law and order. What next? No one knows. Will the police catch up to Frank James or not? For that matter, will you start hearing again about gun control? Actually, Sleepy Joe already went there. Not much more milk to get from that cow. But things like this plus simple one-on-one -on -one crimes will keep happening as long as city officials are soft on crime. As in many other bad things happening in this country, the only way to stop it is with your vote. Aside from new patriotic officers of election taking over voting precincts, we're seeing a lot of voters' remorse. Things like this Brooklyn shooting will only make that worse. The Democrats needed a high baseline of genuine voters before they could cheat their way to the top. They are now losing that baseline. Events like the Brooklyn subway shooting are the reason why. Links in the description of the article, to the update page of the post, to Frank James' YouTube channel if you really want to look at it, and to Conservative News and Views. I have another link to the awesome online store, as I mentioned. And if you like what you've heard, you can like this video and subscribe to this channel. This is Terry A. Hurlbut delivering another declaration of truth and reminding you to let the truth set you free.